Hi everyone, it's Farhan Dalla, spiritual personal trainer and angel therapist for your weekly card angel reading. And I'm here back in Toronto. It's December 17th and um, I'm definitely missing the sun in Florida, but nonetheless, the um, temperatures have been mild here in Toronto. We have yet to receive our first snowfall, which is kind of unusual. And um, that in itself made me think, wow, what are the things that we're just so used to that we expect? that um, all of a sudden in our lives when there's um, some newness or um, some differences in what our past experiences that we tend to get lost into the newness and um, a bit confused because we're so used to what uh, we're used to. And this is a good time to let go of old patterns because as we enter into the new year, and we've obviously done some growing this past year, all of us have, uh, whether it's, you know, personally, professionally, um, in our relationships, um, in our relationships with ourselves, there are aspects of ourselves that no longer serve us. And whatever we have as ideas about our past no longer um, are relevant at this time. Um, and in order to embody new belief systems, we need to let go of the old ones. It's simple as that. And so I'm embracing this newness of mild temperatures in December. And my question to you is, what sort of newness are you embracing? And, you know, in order to allow that newness to, um, to be experienced, we, we need to let go of our, our previous ideologies, whatever that may be. Uh, and in order to create space for newness, we need to let go of, um, of all the old stuff. So perhaps something to do at this time in your lives is to purge. I know I've been purging since we moved from our house to our condo, and um, that process is still continuing. And as I look around, I can still see some things that um, I probably could donate or um, pass on or um, simply throw out. And that allows for the newness to come in and to settle in. And so if you're feeling stuck right now, if you're not sure about how to embrace um, what's coming into your life, think about how to create more space in your life. And just the physical act of purging is, a, is an act to the universe that you're ready for newness in your life. And so um, I journal on a daily basis and perhaps um, I can offer you this guidance and that is um, to write down your thoughts and limiting beliefs that you're willing to let go of. And um, after you've done writing that old limiting belief, you want to perhaps burn it or throw, throw out a piece of paper or throw it into a lake. And um, some of the old belief systems that you may want to get rid of are, are the ones that are limiting, such as I'm not enough, I'm not good enough, there's not enough time, all the not enoughs that um, keep us locked into um, scarcity consciousness. And so that said, let's move on with this week's angel reading. It's, it's quite an interesting one, as it always is. It's always perfect, as I always say. The card that you pick is definitely the one that you're most drawn to. There's obviously a message for you there. So if you pick card number one, congratulations. There is a wedding announcement for you. Perhaps it's your own wedding. Perhaps you're going to hear about a wedding or definitely will be attending a wedding. And weddings are a great time to celebrate newness. They are the beginning of um, a new phase in one's life when there's that commitment in, in front of all your friends and family of this new partnership. And um, it can bring a lot of joy and, and happiness into, um, into many people's lives. So if you're thinking about getting married or you want to get married and you're not really sure and you're looking for a sign, this is it. Pop the question. You have um, gotten the green light from your angels that this is the right time as well. So um, make sure you send me an invitation to the wedding. Secondly, uh, if you pick card number two, the angels are saying, please release and surrender. Whatever it is that you're holding on to that feels heavy, that feels dense, that's keeping you from feeling light, it's keeping you from feeling joy. Uh, you have divine support, and as you know it, as you've picked these cards in the past, and every time I read a message where somebody says, that it was absolutely true, know that uh, there are no coincidences, only synchronicities that are completely, perfectly orchestrated by divine timing. So if you've set the intention for a goal and you're feeling an obstacle, a challenge, or a block, whatever that may be, know that you have divine support. The angels are saying, release and surrender. Ask for support and then always say thank you. So whatever the question may be, angels, I need help with planning my wedding. Angels, I need help 
with choosing a venue for my wedding. Angels, I need help with um, feeling secure in my relationship and then say thank you. Okay, and as we were saying with part number two, everything is in divine order. And so whatever may feel or appear like chaos at any particular time in any situation, that's just a weird way of setting us on course for our path and know that with every situation, obstacle and challenge, there's always a gift or a treasure. So instead of wondering why me or um, I can't believe this is happening to me or why is this happening to me, the question is always, what am I here to learn from this situation? What is this challenge here to offer to me to make me a better person? And when you ask those questions, you get the bigger picture as well as the lesson. And we all know when we don't get the lesson, we just get another teacher. And the lessons just get louder until we finally get it. So let's, um, let's try to choose our lessons with love and joy and know that regardless of any situation or circumstance you are always divinely taken care of and being provided for i know sometimes we fall into the fear factor of things when you're looking at that bank account and all of a sudden it just looks a little low or um, the resources are limited or the job may be you know um, on the verge of extinction because of changes and restructuring or layoffs or whatever it may be Regardless of that, just know that everything is in divine order and is perfectly being orchestrated. So be the witness and the observer and not the victim. That said, I'm Farhandala. This week, I want to offer you a special opportunity for a four-week angel coaching program with myself for the month of January. This is a coaching program that I am offering you for the month of January only. And I'm taking a limited number of, of of, of clients where I will work with you every week for four weeks only on a particular goal that you're looking for, whether it's to lose weight, um, a redirection in your career, if you're looking for clarity, or you just need some guidance. Each week you will receive a message from your angel and you will also receive coaching and guidance, goal setting and monitoring and, um, and advice from, from your angels. So if that interests you, please inbox me right away. I am offering this special for four coaching sessions, that's four one-hour sessions, at $400, and that is a savings of $150 if they were purchased individually. So basically, you're getting four sessions at the cost of $400 with a savings of $150. We will speak once a week for four weeks for the month of January, and set you off in towards the directions of the goals that you wish to achieve in 2016. So if you're interested in my angel coaching program, please inbox me at Facebook or you can contact me on my website at farhandala.farhandala.com. Till next time, angel blessings.